November 1st is here, which means that spooky season is officially over and a new trading post has dropped. So, as is tradition, let's cover a day one speedrun route to max your trading post in under an hour. This month also has some fantastic rewards, so you're going to want as much traders tender as you can get your hands on. Let's cover what activities we're going to knock out and then get right to them. We're going to be completing 10 crafting orders, spending 100 vigor dragon riding, completing 2 banner grabbing world quests, defeating the world dragon, completing a pvp world quest, completing 10 quests, and completing 10 world quests which is basically the same thing, and finally ending with completing 15 pet battles outside of Orgrimmar or any capital city. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to the point videos about World of Warcraft helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. These 1000 points we have planned out don't require any special monthly events to be active at all, so let's get started right away with the crafting orders. To complete this quickly, I hopped on an alt of mine and gave myself 10 personal crafting orders that I could just complete really quickly. So in no time at all really, this was done and we have 200 points. By the way, I'm going to put a point counter in the bottom right of the screen. While we're completing the rest of these activities, keep in mind we have to spend 100 vigor dragon riding, which is actually really easy, but just spend it wherever you're flying around for the rest of these tasks. After this was to complete the two banner grabbing world quests. This first one was in the Azure Span. It's fairly easy to fly around and get these done. And then afterwards, the second one was in the Waking Shores. And real quickly, we have another 100 points knocked off. The world dragon for this week is Baswal in the Azure Span, so I went ahead and queued up for that, and that was the next one down, which is another 100 points in the bag. This one took slightly longer because it took a while to get a group together and wait for them to actually aggro and kill the boss. So we're technically three world quests in already just because of the quest we've already done, so I wanted to knock out a few more on my way to the PvP world quest. So after doing a handful more and getting up to nine quests slash world quests done, it was time to enter war mode to kill Nezeskar and knock off a whole bunch of tasks at the same time. By the way, around now is when I got to 100 vigor spent on my dragon while dragon riding, and that gets us another 100 points. So killing Nezeskar actually knocks off three separate tasks at the same time. We get 10 world quests done, 10 quests done, as well as the PvP world quest getting done. So that's 300 points just from killing this guy alone. Now we're at 800 points, which means we only have 200 more to go, and you know it gives us 200 points, right? So I hearth the Valdraken, took a portal to Orgrimmar, and started to kill pets. That sounds bad, but I started to kill cockroaches, beetles, and rabbits and other things outside of Orgrimmar until I knocked off 15 pet battles. After the 15th victory, we got 1,000 points. It's time to go into Orgrimmar and get our rewards. So for the rewards, we get some Cosmic Weapon Arsenal, which consists of Void Song, Stave of the Harbinger, a Staff, Mithoris, Dagger of the Grand Design, a Dagger, and Taysevere, Sword of the Grand Design, a Sword, obviously. These all look like they're straight out of Oribos in the Shadowlands, which was not a look that I'm very fond of. As a positive point for the month though, we do get some Spectral Mounts as well as this Swift Zebra, which I'm really thrilled about. So that's it for the day one speedrun route for the November trading post. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of November, so if you want to see more content like this, hitting that button is the best way to let me know. Take care!